GLP-1, but doc, I'm noticing some other benefits. Is it just me or are other people experiencing the same? No, it's not just your imagination. Since GLP-1 medications have splashed onto the market, we've noticed a plethora of other benefits. First, blood sugar control. Now the GLP-1 medications are also known as glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists, and they help to control blood sugar in the body. Now, blood sugar control was what GLP-1 medications were initially developed for. We use them for our diabetics. So what we're noticing is that when insulin gets secreted from the pancreas, it's helping to clean up and pull in that extra blood sugar a lot more efficiently when we're on the GLP-1 medications. Beta cell preservation is the next thing. Now, the beta cells are what's in our pancreas that produces the insulin. The GLP-1 medications help to protect the function of these beta cells that secrete the insulin. When our insulin is protected and our beta cells are protective, our insulin secretion is actually much more sensitive and able to respond more efficiently to fluctuations in our blood sugar. One of the problems that we have with diabetes is that we need increasing amounts of insulin or increasing doses of our existing medications for diabetes or a new medication added. But if we can protect our beta cells inside of our pancreas, then we maintain insulin sensitivity much longer and we can maintain better blood sugar control. Now, the one that nobody's surprised about at this point, hopefully, is the weight loss. Again, these drugs were initially studied and researched in diabetics, and we noticed secondarily during observations that they were also losing weight. And that was also helping them to have better blood sugar control and bringing down that hemoglobin A1C. Now, a really, really fascinating study came out a couple of months ago talking about the cardiovascular risk that we've been seeing in people on GLP-1 medications. Cardiovascular disease leading to stroke and heart attacks are a leading cause of morbidity and mortality here in the United States. Well, those risks have been decreased by up to 20% in some patients on the GLP-1 medications. And along with cardiovascular and heart disease, we've seen reductions in blood pressure. And when we can reduce our blood pressure and maintain good blood pressure with normal levels, then we reduce our overall risk of heart disease. I know everybody is worried about their mother, sister's third cousin who had eight weeks of diarrhea on GLP-1 medication. While there can be some GI side effects when we are initiating GLP-1 or escalating the dose. All in all, these are just temporary while the body gets used to the medication. Now, GLP-1 medications can help with some chronic GI conditions, such as gallbladder disease or biliary colic, the gallbladder attack. Now, when we decrease cholesterol and decrease our high triglyceride levels and decrease the um, fat in our diet, we are less prone to getting some of these gallstones. So in the long run, if we're on GLP-1 medications and all of our numbers start to look better, particularly our lipid panel, then we're at less risk for these gallbladder attacks and complications from it over time. Another thing that's a benefit is the flexible dosing. Now, the GLP-1 medications don't just come in uh, injection form, like a lot of people think. They also come in an oral form. They come in a form that's once weekly or once daily. So it's really, really helpful to find a method that works specifically for your comfort level and that will work best in your treatment plan. A new frontier where GLP-1 medications are expanding is into the psychiatric world. We've seen a lot of patients with existing underlying psychiatric disease who have said, Doc, I feel less depressed. I'm less anxious. Now, we uh, are still trying to figure out if that's because they're losing weight and body image is better and they're feeling better, or if there's actually some neurotransmitter chemical process going on in the brain that is rebalancing itself. Now, we do see some mood changes sometimes in people with underlying psych disorders, but we've seen a lot of positive from that as well. Another one is addiction. People are telling us, I just don't have the cravings for the alcohol, or I just don't have the cravings to binge eat at night. And so these are all really beneficial effects of the GLP-1 medications, and it's really exciting to see what else is on the horizon. So if you're someone that is considering GLP-1 medication, then a conversation with your medical provider, of course, is the best course of action. It's not suitable for everyone, but we are able to service a lot more patients with GLP-1 medications than we have with any other modality in the weight loss world in the past. So please don't hesitate to click the link below, like or subscribe to our channel, and then make it a free consultation here at Options Medical Weight Loss. Because at Options, we have options for everybody. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.
You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. We have options for everybody, 